Welcome to DRD Technology. As a certified elite channel partner, DRD sells and supports the ANSYS software in the central United States. For 40 years, our corporate mission has been to serve our customers and maximize their return on investment with the ANSYS simulation tools. Welcome to this DRD presentation. My name is Kevin Adams, and I will be showing you how to download and install an ANSYS ACT extension. So there are a couple of different ways that you can get to the ANSYS store where you can find various ACT extensions. First, if you're already logged into the ANSYS customer portal, you can go to Products, ANSYS Store. Alternatively, you can go to this URL, catalog.ansys.com, and that will bring you to this ANSYS store uh, where you can find the various ACT extensions that are available. Now there is a prerequisite to being able to download these ACT extensions, and that is that you need an ANSYS account. Um, this is separate from the ANSYS customer portal account. It's actually the same as the um, discovery forums account. So if you already have one of those, then you can log into that and download extensions here. If you don't have one of those accounts, then uh, the first time you try to download an extension, it will prompt you to go ahead and sign up for one of those. The next thing you'll want to do is filter the extensions based on the ANSYS version that you are currently running. Um, so I'm running ANSYS 2020R2, so I'll choose that here. And that will just whittle down the uh, extensions shown to the ones that are relevant to your version. You want to make sure that you do that so that you are downloading extensions that are compatible with the, the version of ANSYS that you're currently running. Next, I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these to download. Um, so I'll pick this first one on the list here, ANSYS Motion. Go ahead and scroll down and click on Download. And then I'll just need to scroll down and agree to this agreement here. Next, it's going to send me to the download page where after a few seconds, it'll start the download. Um, I've actually previously downloaded this, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and show it to you in the folder here in my, my downloads folder in Windows. Um, so this is what it looks like when you download the extension. It'll come in as a zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and extract that. And you can see what was contained within that extension. Uh, we've got some documentation for this particular extension, and then the files that are associated with the actual uh, the actual extension, the, the ACT app. Um, so this WBEX file is the, uh, the file that will be used to actually install um, this extension. So next I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, a new Workbench project here in ANSYS 2020R2. Um, there's a couple of different ways that you can install extensions. Uh, the first one I'm going to show is from the ACT Start page. So you can get to that here in the toolbar or from Extensions, ACT Start page. And then you'll go to Manage Extensions. And this will show all of your, your currently installed extensions. And then if you want to install a new one, you can click this little plus button that says install after you hover over it. Um, so that's the first way. Uh, the second way, if I go ahead and close this ACT start page tab, is to go to extensions, install extension. And this will just allow me to uh, essentially um, browse for a uh, WB EX file in order to install this extension. So I'll go ahead and open that. You can see that the software says it's busy because it's installing that extension. And then it gives you a little pop-up telling you that it was successful. And then the last step you need to take uh, is that you need to actually um, enable that extension if you want to use it on your current project. So you can do that either from the um, ACT start page that I showed earlier, or you can just go to extensions manage extensions, and then you'll just need to uh, click the checkbox next to the extension that you just installed there. Uh, so in this instance, that would be ANSYS Motion. And then that will enable um, the functionality of that ACT extension um, in your current project. This concludes our short presentation on how to download and install AC ACT extensions uh, from the ANSYS store.